still like the stick of chewing gum or a landscape with a, a bear in it, it looks like it's been taken away. Yeah, he's Somehow. got that. Yeah, he's Somehow got that he's vision. Got, he's got that synergy, and so you can look at his portfolio and go, "This guy is he's really talented across the whole board of photography. We can use him for anything." Yeah. Okay. You can't do that when you're yeah. in the yeah. First of all, you're not experienced enough, and secondly, people want to start you off at least by being able to pitch you. Yeah. Because you're going in there one day, and when you come out, ten other guys are going in the same day. Yeah. And they want to go. That guy we saw on Tuesday, he just good still life. Let's yeah. give him this sort of still life talk. Today. Yeah. If you've gone in there with mountains and cars and still lives and stuff, they're going to go, oh, I can't remember that. Well, it's just confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just a confusing message. Um, we could actually probably yeah. sit and chat for a long, long time yeah. uh, talking about this. But uh, I'd just like to open it up to uh, our audience here. If there are any particular questions for Mark, uh, either about the things we've been discussing or about the, the role of agents, um, please put up your hand. Okay, so the question is basically about showing work on uh, iPads and whether or not that's an appropriate, I suppose, uh, method of showing work. It's completely appropriate and it's completely contemporary and it's not my favourite form. I still come to the old school for wanting to see uh, work on paper and print. I think it's the best way of presenting work. But you've got to live in the real world and with the amount of photographers that are out there right now, there isn't enough time for agencies and the people in agencies who are responsible for giving commissions to look through steel books or paper books, steel books full of paper and you know, prints. Um, and so what they do is they go online and have a look first of all, a short list of people they want to see, then they might call in the portfolio, like the old conventional portfolio. But even then, a lot of the time, they never ever see the image they're going to commission on paper anyway. I mean, you know, you get a commission for an internet campaign, it's never going to appear in paper. The first thing they're going to do is it's going to be shot digitally, so they're going to see it on the monitor at the session. Then they're going to send it digitally to the retouchers. It's then going to be sent to the client via the internet. He's going to look at it on his monitor. It's then going to go back to their monitor, and then it's going to appear in public on the internet. So it's never going to be on paper. So you might just as well show it in the medium that they're, that they're actually going to appear in. And also, it's very convenient to show pictures like that. And the quality is so high. You could never complain that an iPad isn't giving you the quality to present any image. It just I quite I like the print. That's just a preference. But realistically, you're just going to have to forget about that in the future. It's not going to happen. I mean, I've, got, I've already got cases designed for the iPads. I mean, iPads for every photographer. And I'm also having software written so that when the iPad goes to an agency, it'll automatically search for the Wi-Fi, ask the agent to be up by to look at perhaps putting the password in so that she can be in immediate connection with me and actually communicate with me right then and there while she's looking at the work. If she wants to ask me questions or if she wants to have any further work, which I will then upload into the iPad drive. So that this can be very dedicated. And the use of that is that because as I said earlier, the clients are often telling agencies who they want to use as a top. So clients need to see stuff in the simplest way possible. And they're very used to only looking at pictures on monitors because they spend most of their time on the screen. And also the cameras they all own, the home cameras and the phone cameras are all digital. So in fact you're helping the client to look at images in a way which could assist you in getting your vision that he feels at home and relax looking at that If you take, like in the old days, you take down a book of white gloves and tissue paper and you know, it's like holy smoke. I haven't got time to deal with this. So it's definitely relative and anyone that's starting out in photography right now has got to get themselves a really good website and a really good method of showing work digitally. Oh, that's really good uh, advice and actually very interesting as well because actually it hadn't occurred to me that actual logic of actually seeing it in the medium in which it's going to appear, which makes complete sense. Well, I mean, when's the last time you did a job? I did a job recently, but it was Polaroid. That's the first time in two years we actually used Polaroid. Yeah. I hadn't seen a sheet of Polaroid for a long time. What we see now is Clyde Booth, who's here somewhere. Yeah. I mean, he has a massive monitor set up and powerful computer and the guy's actually doing retouching I mean, I represent Jim Piscus. He has a full-time digital assistant. All his job is is to keep care of all the cameras, which are all digital, 
and to be able to, he has the ability to do high standard recharging on the set. So he's literally showing the client and our client, i.e. the agencies or the magazine people, what they're going to be getting. Yeah. And it's no different to what they're eventually going to get. Whereas on a Polaroid, it's not the right colour, it's slightly muddy, it's this big, even if it's 1080, you can't get them. You know, it's just not the same. And they're actually seeing what they're getting. And you, you've got the ability to say, you don't like that tree, we just whip that out quickly on the set. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting you say that because Ed Webster at Channel 4 was one of the people we were talking to yesterday. And of course, uh, Fiskus yeah, yeah. works with him yeah, yeah. for Channel 4 a lot. Yeah, yeah. I work, well, I work with Ed with him and also Harriet Logan I represent. She yeah, does okay. quite a lot for Ed. Yeah. I mean, Ed's a very knowledgeable guy. He's probably one of the, well, he is the top guy in the field of what yeah. he does. He's very, very good. And, you know, you ask him about digital and stuff. Yeah. He also likes print. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, anyone in the old school will like print. I know. I, that's what he brought up. I used to work with Ed a lot and shoot for him, which is how I first met him. So um, that's why he's another one of our our friends of the magazine. But we we come we come from a generation now. Well, I do. I'm 57, and I come from a generation of people who didn't have any digital stuff. You know, didn't have digital audio or digital. Mm. Video. So I'm bound to have that hangover. Yeah. I want to see prints and things. You know, and it's just it's just the way it is. I mean, my daughters, my nine-year-old daughter, came to me the other day and said, I never knew Paul McCartney was a Beatle. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. for me, that was just an unbelievable statement. Yeah. It was obvious, you know. Yeah. So we belong into a generation where everything's new, which is great. Mm. It's fantastic. And if you've got to be in it, you better embrace it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to get left behind. I agree with you. Um, are there any other questions? It's fluffy, by the way. <laughs> The uh, question is, uh, how are we dealing with videography? I presume videography, I, I don't know what that means. You mean that someone who... Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's absolutely critical that all photographers get on board with this immediately because it's going to be the only way they're going to earn money eventually. I can't tell you about commissions that I get where they say, can they also shoot some film? Can they shoot commercial? With the advent of these Canon cameras, which for internet, has certainly got enough high definition to run internet moving images. It's very, you know, you're actually, and with someone like Clive Booth, for instance, who's a master of this, he shoots in continuous light, so he doesn't have to reset up, so he's not shooting flash and then having to set up. So he can shoot the film immediately after, 